soul man he will be missed and we would enjoy shows and all his movies that, uh, the con- he played in Roots and all the other different type of stuff too as well as appeared on San Francisco so let's talk about this uh, Hurricane Hurricane Milton now they used to trip me out with these names they be giving to these hurricanes like where they come up with these fucking names it's like an old slave name you know Milton you know Hurricane Katrina it's like a black woman name you know what I mean Hurricane Harvey, you know, Harvey, that's like a Jewish person, like Harvey Levin off the team, you know, whatever, and, uh, uh, that's the mother hurricanes they had, man, they used to have crazy names for them, like, what they name these old slave names and shit like that, you know, these people come from the grave and shit like that and seek their revenge out on them, but, this the hurricane that's, uh, that landed down there in Florida, you know, it's a category four, you know, and, uh, I believe it's covering a lot of South Florida, I don't know if it's the whole state of Florida, but I know it's in South Florida, like St. Petersburg or St. Peter's. I don't want to say y'all city name wrong, man, but I know Keith Thurman and uh, Winky Wright from that area. So, you know, uh, they told them that they need to evacuate, you know, uh, leave or die. That's what they told them, leave or die. It's not like that voter die shit they used to say on BET back in the day, you know, with uh, all those entertainers, Diddy and all them niggas on some voter die. You know, pushing that damn propaganda and that agenda and shit like that, man. But they told these people down there in Florida, man, uh, you know, leave or die. But they've been, you know, that's it's hurricane season around October. It's always, uh, you know, hurricanes going, uh, you know, coming about around this time down there, man, in that region. So a lot of them used to it. But they said this is a real bad one, you know what I mean? So uh, if it's true, all my Floridians down there, man, you know, evacuate. I swear safe and shit, man, so, you know, the coast is clear to everything's calm and dead. Let's go back to home, man, you know, so. God bless over them, the righteous ones, not the evil ones. They can go by the wayside. They can drown. But, yeah, let's talk about this fight that's supposed to be going down this weekend on uh, the 12th, this Saturday. It's Arthur Better Beef or Better BF versus Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri Bivol, that's the second person to beat Canelo. So, uh, this fight is going to be at 175 pounds. I think this light heavy. Super middle. I know super, I know middleweight is 68 where Canelo fight at. So, I don't know if this super middleweight, because that's just one weight class above uh, 68. Like, excuse me, like welterweight. You have welterweight's 47, you got super welterweight at 54. So, I don't know if this super middleweight or this light heavy. They got so many uh, weight divisions these days, man. I get confused. 
So yeah, this is gonna be for all the belts. It's for undisputed, you know, at 175. Uh, but if all got one belt, it better be. I think got four belts. So you know, this is gonna be for all the marbles, man. So tune in to that jungle. Be on top rank this Saturday. You know what I mean? So uh, this main joint right here, man. I heard about this story watching a podcast, man. Much love to Jay. You know what I mean? And uh, this story tripped me out, man. It's the same. It's deja vu. You know, this stuff been going on for years been going on you know uh in biblical times you know and now current you know and it's getting worse and worse and worse now this new york city queens man got a phone call from his girlfriend and allegedly this guy inappropriately touched her you know disrespected her so he did as any normal other man would do that's in a relationship and his girl being disrespected and she calling and uh in need of distress and help he went down there and approached dude, you know. Uh, we don't know if they had a little back and forth going on or he went straight to business. But nevertheless, the dude pulled out a, a yammy, a whammy. I call that shit a yammy. He pulled out a whammy and went wham, 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 you know. And uh, put three of them in dude, man, and it killed them. And uh, he left behind three children, man. And I hate to hear stuff like that. He was a father. And... It wasn't no bad name. I mean, it wasn't no uh, no no bad rep put on his name, you know. Um, seemed like he was a loving father, you know. Uh, this is mother right here speaking right here. Left behind his mom. And uh, this is ridiculous, man. Like, I used to hear about stories like this when I was a kid. You know, a girl get a dude that's, you know, like, very impulsive and stuff like that. And very uh, 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 reactive. And they find ways to push their buttons and shit so they can react so they can get a type of uh you know so they can get some type of reaction out of them and shit for whatever agenda that they have to call the police and shit like that to get away from them get them killed set up whatever you know and it's the same thing in 2024 you know and uh these fucking women they evil man like i, I the devil don't have a gender and he don't have a a, a a race you know that he reside in but it seemed like he's the most prevalent and the most lively inside of black women. Because when you see how these black women act from the ages 50 on down, especially in their 20s and 30s, they do, they do the most diabolical evil shit that's in the Bible that the devil do. You know, everything that's described about the devil, he's a liar, he's a cheater, you know, a, a good looking person, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 manipulative, manipulative. <laughs> early in the morning and shit, man, cotton mouth, manipulative, um, you know, deceptor, you know what I'm saying, um, all that shit, man, like, everything that's against God and that's not godly, you know, like, being a narcissist, pulling the wool over your eyes, you know, uh, cheating, all that, being a harlot, all this stuff, man, you know what I mean, and, uh, they got all these characteristics as Lucifer, you know, so, that made me think that, man, a lot of these black women, most of these black women, man, they the devil, man. They really are Satan's helpers. Because they carrying out all his deeds, man, you know. So, uh, they kind of remind me of the story of Judah. I don't know if I told the story before, but if y'all read the Bible, just like uh, the story of Judah in Genesis, you know, in the, uh, in the Old Testament, you know, he served Pharaoh. And uh, he was uh, Pharaoh's maze, man, you know. Uh, he cleaned up around the house or whatever and served him but this one time girl was gone here on his business and uh his wife was there he tried and she tried to come on to judah and uh judah refused he was like nah man you for his wife i can't do that so because he refused she said that well i'm gonna tell pharaoh that you try to come on to me if you don't give in to me so, like, and judah was like hey you gotta do what you gotta do so she did and then you know pharaoh ended up believing her like weak men always do samson type stuff i always uh you know, uh, believe the woman or whatever instead of the man, and uh, end up having him locked up. But Judah one, he wasn't tripping, he ain't even budge, cause he knew he was innocent and he didn't do nothing wrong. And God knew too. That's why he sent the messages and uh, sent Pharaoh the message saying that yo, you need to let Judah free, man. He innocent, he didn't do that. So Pharaoh did let him free and uh, end up overthrowing the current the current government and made uh, Judah the governor of uh, of Egypt. You know, so. I say that to say, you know, that's been going on way back in biblical times in the Old Testament, and it's been going on uh, 
you know, throughout the years after that, and we see it now, you know, same thing with the Park situation, the Emmett Till story, like the lady was on her deathbed and she confessed that Emmett Till didn't even whistle at her, she made the whole story up, and she lived her whole life and she died of old age, ain't nothing happened to her, she ain't had no accountability, just like the rest of these women, they don't be held to no accountability for the wrongdoings that they do. I mean, in the end, they're going to be held to it because, you know, God is the best judge, judge of them all, you know. And once, you know, he sit there and give you your repercussions and uh, accountability, you know, ain't no turning back from it because it, it might wipe you up out of here. But physically, in this, in this, in this physical form down here on this, you know, uh, devilish world, you know, they not being held accountable for nothing that they do. And that's why they act the way that they act, you know. But, man, we got to do something about this shit, man. Like, these women is getting... Cardi B sipped there and admitted to drugging dudes. You know what I mean? And robbing them. Ain't nothing happening to her. I don't like the dude, Diddy, but shit. I mean, if you're going to sit there and reprimand him, you know, find him guilty of things that he did and shit, these people that's confessing on these fucking records and interviews and shit like that, y'all need to gaffle them, gaffle them up too. You know? Like, man, if you're going to get one, get them on. No, don't play that favoritism shit. I can't stand a motherfucking person to be favoritism, yo. But, uh, yeah, man, they got to be held accountable. They need some jail time when they said to be lying and shit like that, especially when they get people killed and get people hurt and get their damages and shit like that uh, 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 destroyed. They need to be held accountable, man. They need jail time. Or you want us to go back to the old days and stone them to death. I know y'all want that. So... It's either or, man. Y'all sit there and do the right thing by the justice system and provide real justice or we're going to provide street justice. Either way it go, justice will be served. You know, but, uh, you know, God bless this man's soul, man, and watch over his children. And uh, I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side. Yeah, yeah.